Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage is Mark chapter 2, verses 13 to 22. In the previous passage, Jesus demonstrated that he had the authority to forgive sins. The religious leaders were not expecting the Messiah to be able to do this. This was something that only God can do. Jesus is showing that he is the Son of God. In today's passage, Mark tells us how Jesus didn't just forgive sins, but he cares for sinners. He eats and spends time in the home of a tax collector named Levi, and the Jewish religious leaders question and oppose him. Jesus' responses let them know that he is not fitting into their expectations of the old law, but the kingdom of God that is near will be something new. Now, before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear Lord, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you for this time that we have to be quiet and to just study and meditate on it. And I pray you would teach us today. Help us to learn something new from you. We love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty, read along in your Bible with me, starting in chapter 2, verse 13. Once again, Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him, and he began to teach them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him. And Levi got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and asked Jesus, how is it that John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees are fasting, but yours are not? Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? They cannot, so long as they have him with them. But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them, and on that day they will fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. Otherwise, the new piece will pull away from the old, making the tear worse. And no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. What is God teaching you today in that passage? Take some time to think about it. Maybe read it over again, and then write down what God is teaching you in your journal. And don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else.